I ask you, that individual who has the strength to rise from their bed, to say no to shaitan, to do the wudu properly, to stand in salah, to do their sajda, to recite the Quran, what strength are they gaining early in the morning? How powerful is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanting to make you an eye? How amazing is this invitation to make you an eye enriched with special energy in the morning? That struggle that we have is purposeful. That morning pain is good. When I can't rise from the bed and then I have the determination, the willpower, the self-control, the willingness to say no to desires that will help me during the day. Mark my words. Yes? That will give me an extra boost to be able to say no to desires, to be able to say no to temptations. It is empowering 100%. Think of it that way. My invitation to the youngsters, my invitation to the youth, my invitation to anyone who's missing Fajr all the time. Don't only think of Fajr, oh, I have to wake up. Ya Allah, what is this? Think of it as I have to wake up because I'm looking forward, because it will help me, because I need it, because Allah has given it to me, because it will make me a better human being in this world before Akhirah. That is how we should approach it. That is how we should actually focus upon it. Yes, that is why when it comes to this, some people ask, fair enough, I need to change my mindset. That is why when I come to practical tips, these are the following six things that please keep in mind. And let's ensure that we try our best to adhere to them. Number one, our attitude and our dua. When I come to sleep, I need to think that I will wake up for Fajr in my mind. This mental state is important. Yes? So don't go to sleep thinking, I, it's impossible that I wake up. Already you're in a defeatist attitude. No, approach it with the mindset that no, I will wake up and ask Allah. Ask Allah, Ya Allah, help me. I want you to wake me up. Number two, go to sleep in wudu. Because narrations of the Ahl al-Bayt tell us, anyone who sleeps in the state of wudu and dies in the state of wudu, they die a shaheed, a martyr. Anyone who goes to sleep whilst in wudu, Allah changes their bed to a masjid in which he is worshipped. These are Ahl al-Bayt telling us, it doesn't cost you much. Just the wudu before you go to sleep. Similarly, the beautiful, excellent tasbiha of Sayyidat al-Nusa Fatima al-Zahra salawatullahi wa salamu alayha. It's highly recommended. Number three, recite the final ayah of Surah Al-Kahf, chapter 18, 110. قُلْ إِنَّمَا أَنَا بَشَرٌ مِثْلُكُمْ يُوحَى إِلَيْ أَنَّمَا إِلَاهُكُمْ إِلَاهٌ وَاحِدٌ فَمَنْ كَانَ يَرْجُو لِقَاءَ رَبِّهِ فَلْيَعْمَلْ عَمَلًا صَالِحًا وَلَا يُشْرِكْ بِعِبَادَةِ رَبِّهِ أَحَدًا If you haven't memorized it, no problem. Recite it from the Quran or from your phone. And indeed, we are told when you recite this ayah, Allah will appoint angels that will wake you up at the time of your choosing. This is also highly recommended. Number four, if you miss Fajr Salah, don't be indifferent. If you have an important appointment or a meeting with someone really valuable and you miss it and you forget it, you will be for days thinking, oh, what has happened? Why did I miss it? You'll feel sorry, sorrowful, grief. If you miss Fajr, don't wake up in the morning and say, ah, I miss Fajr, never mind. Inshallah, next time. Feel a sense of sadness. Feel a sense of grief because that will impact your mindset. That will change the way you approach Fajr tomorrow. And therefore, what? Be in that particular state. Number five, make sure that as soon as you wake up, if you have missed Fajr, perform the Qadha straight away. MashaAllah. May Allah bless some of our sisters and brothers. I ask them, they say, I have seven years of Qadha of Fajr. Ten years of Fajr Qadha. Yes? Why are you accumulating? Do it quickly. Some say, give me a tip. If you do, after each wajib salah during the day, five times, a fajr qadha, yes? You'll finish an entire year worth of qadha in 72 days. Yes? 72 days. So approximately five years of qadha you can do in one year. If you do it after each salah, two rak'atayn, rak'atayn of your qadha, yes? And number six, there are some of us who continuously, habitually stay up late at night. 
watching movies, Netflix, hanging around, this and that. No problem if you do it from here, from time to time, you know, something. Well, nobody's saying it's haram. But don't make it a habit where because you sleep late, you miss your fajr. No doubt, be responsible enough to know your limitations and how you must make sure that you wake up. Because why? Narrations tell us there is a shaitan responsible to make sure we don't wake up for fajr. Please mark these words. That shaitan, his name is Raha. He celebrates when you miss Fajr and you wake up, it's time to pray and you say a few more minutes and you go back to sleep. You know who's told you to go back to sleep? There's still more time? This Raha. Remember him next time he speaks to you in the morning. Yes? He tells you go back to sleep. You go back to sleep. Alarm, bell, something. Yes, of course, we have to utilize these methods as well. Your phone, alarm bells, anything to wake you up. But then if you miss the Fajr completely and you wake up, ah, and the sun has risen. There is a great celebration going on around you. You don't see it. This Raha is joyful, delighted. You know, like there are some people in the Western world, they have these um, markers or expectations. They have to give enough number of penalties if they're parking attendance or whatever daily. So he has a daily number of people he has to deceive. So now he is happy that he is deceived and he has ensured that the number of people have missed their fetch. Don't give him a chance to celebrate.